in this video, I want to talk about the Repair Assistant. And I could have spoken about this in the beginning of this video series, but I really wanted to leave it all the way to the end. What this Repair Assistant allows you to do is it takes you through steps and asks you a couple of questions and finds out what modules and repairs and fixes you want to do. But I find by having a very good understand of all these modules, it's going to help the whole process, especially if you're going through the Repair Assistant. If you rely on the Repair Assistant all the way in the beginning, you're not going to really go deep into and finding out how these modules work. But I still want to cover this so you know what it does. So I'm going to click on the Repair Assistant, then it brings up the Repair Assistant and asks you what you want to do. What type of material would you like to clean up? So here I've got an audio piece where the reverb is too loud in the sound. So it's Dialog. I'll click Dialog. I'll start the analysis. It's going to analyze it for any clipping, clicks, hums or noise. And then it's going to create some suggested processing for this audio piece. So as you can see, it's given me the original. Then it's giving me three other options. So I can play back the original. This is the sound of a voice being recorded in a sort of big room. So you're getting the voice hitting the walls and the reflections coming back, giving you that reverberated sound. Now here's option A. This is the sound of a voice being it's using recorded dialog in a sort of isolate. big room. So you're getting the voice hitting the walls and the reflections coming back, giving you that reverberated sound. I can click here to apply the processing and also adjust the intensity of how much of those modules I want to add. Here is option B. This is the sound of a voice. This being is using a voice sort of denoise and again. So you're getting the voice hitting the walls and the reflections coming back, giving you that reverberated sound. And the last one. This is the sound of a voice is using being a spectral denoise. Sort of big room. So you're getting the voice hitting the walls and the reflections coming back, giving you that reverberated sound. This is the sound. So out of all these options, I think spectral denoise really works pretty well. But can you see the problem here? I actually wanted to use the D reverb module. So if you just open up the repair assistant and don't know which modules you want to use, you're actually really missing quite a bit. It's a great assistant to use, but really don't rely on it. Rather, learn these modules so you know exactly which ones to go for. For example, instead of using this repair assistant and getting all the different options, then listening through them to see which ones to use, I knew that I wanted to use the D-Reverb. So I could jump straight for the D-Reverb and learn the noise profile of the reverb and apply the settings that I want. So it is a shortcut to getting to where you want to get maybe with some sounds, but I'd highly recommend learning the modules and knowing exactly which modules work for you. Maybe if you're using a module and it's not really working too well, you can jump to the repair assistant and see what suggestions it gives. But I thought I'd just show you what the repair assistant is, but really the power in this application is knowing how to use each of these modules. So now having gone through all those videos, you should really have a very good understanding of what Oryx is capable of and how you can use it on different types of audio files to repair and fix and process them. I hope you found this video very informative. It really is a great application. And I also would like to point you to go looking at some of Isotope's other video tutorials on Groove 3 so you can see what other products they have available and how you can use those to further enhance your audio productions.